Hello and welcome to the interview room of Jasper, a classic and Christian jazz band. I'm your host Jerry Martin and on this segment of the interview room we're featuring a special friend of mine, a co-founder of Jasper, Mr. Tommy Grice, renowned sax player from Trenton, New Jersey. And I visited with Tommy at his home in Lawrenceville, New Jersey on Friday, August the 23rd, 2013. And he opened up about his life as a jazz musician and a few other things that I think you may find interesting. Also, be sure to check back from time to time at www.jazspir.com to see the interesting folk who will be joining us in the interview room. So let's travel to Lawrenceville now and meet Mr. Tommy Rice. in the interview room for Jasper. You can go to Jasper, www.jasper.com and go to the interview room. And our first interview is going to be with Mr. Tommy Grice, saxophone player extraordinaire. Mr. Tommy Grice, how are you doing today, sir? I'm very good, but I don't know about his story. <laughs> See, in my mind, right? <laughs> I just hold a saxophone. God, please. <laughs> all right, all right. We're just going to uh, sit here and chat a little bit, you know, I All want right. people to Be just understand, guess. yeah, I want people to understand about the music and, and, and uh, uh, how you're affiliated with the music, and I know you've been playing for a long time. How long have you been playing? I started, uh, really I started uh, in junior high school. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm uh, 84, so mm -hmm. that's a long time ago. Yeah, a long time, yeah. <laughs> but I started on a, a clarinet and oboe, mm -hmm. and uh, it was, uh, I started through a program uh, for poverty kids. Right. Uh, my father died when I was a year old, mm -hmm. and it was uh, uh, nine of us. Uh, I was a ninth child, and uh, so they came. They came uh, under the administration of uh, President uh, Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. it was a WPA Work Progress Program. Mm -hmm. It was nothing but a poverty, uh, same as uh, welfare. Mm -hmm. So I would say I'm a welfare. A, a baby, <laughs> okay. and that's we had a program. A man who played with Andy Kirk, mm -hmm. saxophone player, named Ray Shep, and uh, he came to the school. Mm -hmm. And he was uh, hired not by the school district; he was hired by the WA program mm -hmm. to teach uh, 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 underprivileged uh, children on that was on this program. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you've been on that program, we used to have uh, you get free lunch. You get little goodies, you know. It was embarrassing at mm -hmm. the time because the kids, they would announce you was on free. Everything was yeah. free, you know, uh, and you couldn't afford this. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had to take the bitter with the sweet. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, when uh, they had made the announcement on the uh, intercom mm -hmm. that it's going to be a free music lesson, my brother uh, came by my class. He mm -hmm. was two two grades ahead of me. Mm -hmm. Now your brother's a Gigi guy. Gigi, yeah. yeah. And well, it's George General. Oh, okay. And that's how he got his name. We always called him G G. Oh. Capital G, capital okay. G. Cause my my father's name was George General Grice Senior. Okay. He was George General Grice Junior. Okay. And when he went to France, I got that French blood got him. <laughs> he put that. He dropped the G. Put an I there. And, oh, and, okay. And dropped the I out of the I Grice into the Y. Oh wow. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, that was well. That was a move of God. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So he was a welfare baby. So yeah, and so we. Uh, uh, I remember going to the auditorium when they said all the people want to play instruments. And when I, my brother and I came in the auditorium, everybody just laughed because <laughs> we was the only welfare uh, recipients there. Uh -huh. And I remember one guy said, Grice to Grice, and you know y'all can't afford, uh, uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to play? <laughs> uh, you going to whistle your way through here? And uh, 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 my brother just said, cool it, cool it. And so we signed up. Uh -huh. We didn't have no instruments. And he and I used to, every for a Saturday, we couldn't run the street. Cause my my mother would after we take our baths and all that and mm. sit around. Oh, uh, she had talent nights, and she would sit there and everybody out. Yeah, uh, all my neighbors would be out there party on Saturday, but my mother would sit there and we had to do what talent we had. And my brother and I used to take Look magazine 
and 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 blow, you know, uh, blow the uh, uh, home, the marches, mm -hmm. all the popular music is at that time. So we had mm -hmm. good ear. Mm -hmm. So that was a good chance. Uh, God led us to uh, sign up for this class. But the thing about it, when uh, we started taking class, we didn't have an instrument. Mm -hmm. So it was a fellow by the name of Aaron Long. His dad worked for the railroad, a porter. And so during that time, uh, a black man who worked for the railroad uh, uh, would make good money, and he was a postman, he would make good money. So uh, his son uh, uh, got a clarinet, and we took lessons individually from Shep. I was the first to go on in the room to take a clarinet lesson, and Shep never questioned us, is that your instrument? Mm -hmm. And when I left, I gave it to Aaron. Mm -hmm. Cause he was the next in line, and down I think Junior Cook was taking clarinet too. Junior was in that some kind of way, cause that was my next door neighbor. And uh, so when he got down to Gigi, he was the last. But we all made the band at the same time. That's when Chef found out we didn't have a, a instrument, mm -hmm. so I had to drop out. My brother took the instrument uh, uh, with the, that the program. Uh, Low or uh, metal clarinet, B flat clarinet. Mm -hmm. So uh, he made the band. So I just, I just had to go and find something else to do. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what, 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 what possessed you to, to, to take up jazz? I know you talked well, about. Well, I was in, uh, I was in the jazz. Uh, 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 we say uh, I was influenced. I was a, a church person. Mm -hmm. We had to go to Sunday school and um, meet my mother at 11 o'clock service on Sunday. Every, all Sundays was, was church. And then uh, we used to have to go to the BYPU called the Junior League. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we meet her at night service because she was a student in mm -hmm. the Methodist church. So we was in church all Sunday. And we came home, it was bedtime. So all the music that in, in my house was mainly classical, or all my sisters played clarinet. Uh, uh, piano. We did have an old beat up piano. Mm -hmm. They all uh, uh, picked up a uh, uh, piano. Mm -hmm. And they could, good musicians could read and all of that. Mm -hmm. How I know why, why, how they read, I don't know. Apparently mm -hmm. they did take some kind of lesson and one of them taught the other one. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. how we started. Hmm. Was jazz prevalent in your house though? I mean, you know, uh, no, uh, uh, we didn't have any <coughs> jazz records as I know of. Uh, I, uh, my, until my brother went to the service. Mm -hmm. He was in the Navy and he came back and he said, I want you to listen to this music. It was on Hot House Dial label, mm -hmm. Dial record label. And he said they call this a bebop. Mm -hmm. And this is by Charlie Parker. And, uh, uh, and he told me that it was the strangest music I ever heard. But it was a fascinating music. Mm -hmm. It was a very fascinating music. But be proud of that. I remember going to the play at my high school. I don't know what organization bought Larry Steele's Smart Affair. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it was, uh, what was the name of that? Larry Steele had this big man and Arthur Prosop was a singer. Oh, Arthur. And uh, <laughs> we, uh, we were just hanging around school. You know like kids, something going on in school, you gonna hang around school. We didn't have no mission to get in. So the guys, one of the guys said, Christ, you ought to see these girls they're in, the, they're in the dressing room. I got excited. <laughs> and we were, we were thinking about what was going on. We want to see them girls dress. So we looked over there, and when I looked over, I was hoping to see the girls dressing. And I saw a guy playing a sax and a guy singing. Mm. And the tune, If I Love You, If uh -huh. I Love You, da da da. And I froze. And I said, and I couldn't, they had to pull me down. They thought out, you know, the guy said, you can't stay up here. And when they pulled me down, that, that stayed on my mind. I said, that's what I want to do. Wow. I said, that guy can really play. And that song, I mm. didn't know the name of that song, but that song stayed in my mind. Wow. And when I, uh, I think it was in the, uh, I played clarinet, I did get clarinet in my mm. uh, junior, uh, senior year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I learned that song. But I got with some guys, we formed a jazz group. Mm -hmm. Each one of us knew about two or three tunes. <laughs> the, uh, we had a trumpet player who knew five tunes, so he was automatically the leader. 
And I'm the only one had a clarinet. And the trumpet player said, we don't want a clarinet. We want a saxophone. And I couldn't get a saxophone. My mother couldn't, couldn't barely afford that instrument. Uh -huh. So I, so what they did, rather than fire me on the spot, they would call out the places where we would rehearse. And I would always go to the place where I thought they was going to rehearse, but they would change and rather than embarrass me. So I just, you know, I, I did that. And uh, so when I went off to college, I majored in a uh, clarinet. I went to uh, uh, Wilberforce State or uh, Central State. And uh, we had... In Ohio? Yeah, Ohio, yeah. yeah. Uh, and at that time, uh, they had a good jazz band. Frank Force and all them guys mm -hmm. there. But that, that was a strictly a religious school. Mm -hmm. And with no jazz, you couldn't major on no saxophone. Wow. Everything, everything was classical music. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, that's when I got interested in, in playing jazz. And I uh, threw somebody uh, loaned me an alto sax. And I started playing out until then. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I got another question for you, but let me just check some. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, um, Gigi, how old, how much older was Gigi than you? Gigi was uh, two and a half years older. So you, you have you did you play with him? And, oh yeah, yeah. yeah I played with him. Uh, in fact, I have a uh, I played with him and Don Bird. I have a a thing I wrote uh, when I start moved to New York to work on my masters. Mm -hmm. We did a recording with Betty Carter. Betty Carter. Betty Carter. I'm about to I'll show it to you later. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, my brother said, <clears throat> well, why don't you do a, a, a couple of arrangements for Betty? And uh, get your name out there. And I did. But I didn't, know, I didn't know one of the guys that I was playing with. I didn't even know Betty. Hmm. And the guy that was uh, uh, Melba Listen on trombone, mm -hmm. It was Sam Jones on bass. I didn't realize that till about five years after the record was wow. that these guys. Uh, Kenny Durham was playing trumpet. Mm -hmm. Billy Golson was playing sax. Uh, Shaheeb Shahab was Shaheeb. playing. Yeah, Shaheeb. all these guys. Mm -hmm. Super guys. I said, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the only unknown. And, and when the record came out, they spelled my name B R I C B R Y C. Oh. Tommy Bryce. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> but uh, that's that's how I got it. That's okay. when uh, and then I played with Donald a couple of times with Donald Bird and I was fraternity brother. Okay. And uh, that was about it. Okay. Uh -huh. Now now Donald, of course, we know Donald Bird died a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I had the. Uh, Good fortune of playing, uh, uh, opening up for him back in '70. I want to say '74, mm -hmm. '75 in Atlantic City at uh, the Wonder Gardens Club. Oh, well, I, oh yeah, I, I used to go to, yeah. I used to go down to Wonder Garden because uh, Sonny Stitz. Once I started getting the music, because Sonny, and my brother, was very tight, mm -hmm. and Sonny was playing had a, a organ trio, Don Patterson, mm -hmm. Billy James, mm -hmm. and uh, a white guitar player. What was his name? Oh, he's still living. One of the best guitar players in the world. Not Stan Getz. No, no, uh, uh, a guitar player. A guitar player. Yeah, uh, he uh -huh. had a brain tumor. Oh, I can't think of his name. But he's still living. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has a lot of guitar mm -hmm. books and things. Like and I used to go a lot of the Winter Garden. Because, uh, yeah. And then I, I took a job with an organ player at the Little Belmont. That was across the street from the big club. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, Club Harlem down there. Club Harlem, Harlem yeah, but yeah. Little Belmont was right across yeah. the street. Yeah. And then I worked uh, another club of the boxer. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a club downtown in Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. I was down there. Me and Buck Green. Mm -hmm. uh, Buck Green was an organ player and uh, uh, the drummer from Philadelphia. Sonny Huckster was playing xylophone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's how I got into jazz. Now you you uh, you taught uh, music at, at at Trenton High. Yep. How, how many? Well, years? I uh, started at Junior Five. Okay. I taught at Junior Five for seven years, and I taught at Trenton High for twenty-seven years. Now, did you have some uh, some guys come through there that are pretty much out on the chart now, making it? Well, uh, Clifford uh, Allen is one. Clifford uh, in the gang. Yeah, from the gang and. Uh, uh, Steve Kramer 
he was a, a player with the Dawson's band. Steve played. Uh -huh. He played a uh, uh, piano. 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 Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Then I was a. Uh, uh, I was standing uh, in Ewan, so my name was very popular in Ewan, mm -hmm. and I uh, picked up a uh, uh, little saxophone player in the 10th grade. Oh. Mm. used to play with Buddy Rich. Uh, what was his name? Him and then I, uh, Michael Ray played trumpet, right. mm -hmm. and he used to come on and take lessons. Mm -hmm. Richie Cole. Richie Cole. Yeah, yeah. Richie Cole. Yeah. I couldn't think of Richie's name. Yeah. Always like Richie. Uh -huh. Richie was a very uh, a good musician. Very mm -hmm. good to play here. Yeah. And there was another young man. He married uh, Sarah Vaughn. That uh, he he was going to three to three. Wayman Reed. He used to play with Count Basie. Mm -hmm. Oh, how about yeah, yeah. Uh, That was Sarah Vaughn's last husband. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Now you mentioned we we were talking earlier about. Uh, and uh, also uh, another uh, saxophone player that's going to make a name for himself is uh, James Stewart. James Stewart. James Stewart mm -hmm. played around New York a lot. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, we had talked earlier about uh, about your friend uh, Clarence Watson. Well, I met Clarence uh, through, uh, uh, I was writing and playing with a band called the Philadelphia Legends. Mm -hmm. uh, Leon, I uh, can't think of his name. He was a, the band director, mm -hmm. and they had all these super musicians that was from Philadelphia. And I think I was the only one that was from, they used to call me Cotton Banger. <laughs> coming out of Philadelphia, they wanted a boots I'm like, where's that Cotton Banger coming from? <laughs> so I had to hold my own, that made me kind of angry. So you know, I, I stayed up on my horn, and I ran into Clarence then. Okay. Yeah, they had some good musicians. Yeah, uh -huh. 16 piece band. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Now, Clarence likes to uh, taunt uh, that uh, he played with uh, Lionel Hampton. Yep, yep. Yeah. My brother played with him. Did he? Yeah, with with, with uh, uh, Clifford Brown and oh. and uh, 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 all of the, a lot of musicians with him mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, uh, of course, Tony. Uh, uh, Tony Smith, our trumpet player, that plays with us, and, and uh, he's from Wilmington. He's from Wim yeah, Wilmington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, Larry, uh, Larry Williams, uh, they they uh, they have a jazz festival. I think the Tony, uh, uh, Tony, Tony uh, oh Clifford Brown, Clifford Brown, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that, yeah I, I put, uh, the first time I played with uh, on that festival with uh, Tony Williams. Myself and Buster Williams and a piano player. Bass player, player Buster? Yeah, Buster. Yeah. yeah. yeah Buster, I used to go down to Camden when Buster was in the 10th grade and pick him up. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah that's Buster. Okay. Buster, was Buster in, Williams uh, was the bass player. Now, he played with the Crusaders also, right? Yeah, oh, Buster played with everybody. Yeah. Kenny Bayer. Buster's really, I would say, the top five bass great jazz players of all time. Wow. Yeah, Buster. Yeah. And uh, Buster, uh, he was at Camden High. Mm -hmm. And I used to go out every Friday. We 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 playing for practically nothing, but mm -hmm. he was a good musician. We played everything the jazz messengers played. Wow! And note for note. Wow! And uh, we didn't make no money, but we <laughs> was popular with the girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now who were the guys on on the picture? Here? Now uh, this was Buster Williams. Mm -hmm. This is Raymond Reed. Okay. And uh, this is Buck Green. He was organ player. Mm -hmm. And this fella, uh, Dave Wilson, excellent. He was a, a, a policeman, okay. excellent trombone. He was a uh, uh, influence uh, 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 Clifford Adams. Okay. He was playing with Charlie Irwin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Dave. Yeah. And player. this is the uh, drummer uh, Russell Weber. Okay. And uh, this is me in the back. Absolutely. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Now, yeah, when but, was that? Now, what year now was this, that? this had to be in the uh, in the early. 80s or, or, or I, would, I would say the late 70s. Oh, okay. About the late 70s. Okay. Uh, All yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Only two living is Buster and myself. Mm -hmm. yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, who else did you play with? Um, Me? Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, I, well, I played with uh, Art Farmer, Alan oh. Farmer. Now, the first drummer I had when I was a. Uh, uh, when I was working on my masters in uh, New York City mm -hmm. at Columbia, uh, we had a group. Uh, I didn't even realize I was a. Uh, uh, he, he played with a. Uh, drums with uh, T. Donnie's monk for years. Mm -hmm. Can't think of his name. 
uh, Jimmy Cleveland, a lot of guys, mm -hmm. Art Farmer, Addison Farmer, mm -hmm. a lot of guys, they were just musicians in New York. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, yeah just, just playing yeah. the spots. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, jazz, jazz uh, t to me, um, is, is one of those music, I, I fell in love with jazz uh, when I was real young. You know, I had gospel and jazz mm -hmm. in my house. Mm -hmm. But uh, I fell in love with jazz, and of course, when we went to uh, went to Tennessee State, and and actually before that, I went to junior college, and then I went to Tennessee State, and it's, and the state, which was you know pretty much all black institutions mm -hmm, at the time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a lot of good musicians came through. Here. I know about um, Tennessee State, and the Tennessee State <laughs> Collegians, because we used to uh, we used to battle them. Yeah, Central State. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle yeah. of the band. Uh, 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 in fact. One of the best saxophone players in the world is Hassan Williams. Mm -hmm. uh, he finished at uh, 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 Tennessee State, and mm -hmm. he's, he, now he's living in Columbus. Oh, now, we were talking about um, jazz music. Um, to me, I, I just I never could get out of my head. Uh, back in the seventies, uh, I think when uh, the Tramps first came into existence, mm -hmm. and disco really took off. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of the jazz musicians uh, at that time just started playing what was popular, you know. Yeah, well, well that's, that's for economics. Yeah, they had they had eat. Eat. They had <laughs> eat. That's right. But um, I remember at Fort Dix uh, when we used to play over there a lot. Uh, we would do the disco scene, and then uh, on break time, I would go over to the jazz lounge mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and fool around over there. But it's it's it's, an, it's a music. I, I almost uh, liken it to. Um, Gospel music, spiritual music, because it's just a spiritual nature. Uh, how did jazz you jazz is the closest music to spirituality that I know of, mm -hmm. and I'm a very spiritual person. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, jazz, I would say, surpasses gospel music mm -hmm. as being more sacred. The reason I say that mm -hmm. because you had to be taught gospel music, right? Uh, that was from the field hands. Mm -hmm. One guy was singing and another guy had a call and response system. And eventually they were singing about good ships. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the ship that, that bought them from slavery. Mm -hmm. And most of the gospel text came out of the biblical text that mm -hmm. we use. That. We were very biblical people. Mm -hmm. But jazz, uh, if you think about uh, the word mm -hmm. in the Bible, is the word was spoken. That's, yes. The word was created. Create God was a creative person, mm -hmm. and He created this universe. Uh, universe laid the foundation by yeah. His word. Sure, jazz is a creative music. Mm -hmm. No other music is like that. Yeah, you are composing without a pencil. You are playing something you never heard of. And the fascinating thing about improvisation, you cannot duplicate it. Wow, I can play a solo. And cannot duplicate it unless someone write it write down, down. Yeah. or record it. I listen to it, mm -hmm. and then I'm not improvising. Right. Yeah. Right. You cannot duplicate it. Yeah. It's what you created in that moment. Mm -hmm. And it, I can't explain. I don't. I couldn't even give you a definition for jazz. <laughs> that I've been in jazz all my life, <laughs> and uh, it's so sacred. I can't give you a definition. Wow. But it's a music that I equate it sometimes. With a drug, <laughs> yeah, I get so high playing, yeah, yeah, and I don't even drink or smoke. <laughs> Glass of wine once in a yeah, while, yeah. but uh, 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 I get so that I couldn't even go to sleep wow. when I come in from the gig because it's just like a crack high. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. just you you just gotta you just gotta you gotta sit around and let it cool down <laughs> because the emotions on the stage was that yeah. that dramatic. And then by the same token, you go back the same night and you the same guy. Mm -hmm. And you would, would say, keep looking at your clock. Say, oh man, what I'm doing? I wish yeah. this would soon end. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a spiritual. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah. And uh, 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 every, uh, it's, it's so now I feel it more than others from where the source is coming. Because I have a fear when I play. Mm. I have a fear. I say, is this my last breath to draw on to play in that instrument? Mm -hmm. Or is this the last time I will finger it? Mm -hmm. Because I'm conscious of my creator wow. giving me that talent. Yeah. 
So when people talk about, uh, and I, I hate uh, when people uh, uh, say, oh, that's the devil's music. How do you know it's the devil's music? Because yeah. you're dealing with seven sounds. Mm -hmm. Now, which, which of those sounds are the devil's music? <laughs> now, I, I imagine with the lyrics, mm -hmm. could be, you know, it's, it's not sacred. Or when, when jazz was first created, it didn't come out of the church. Mm -hmm. It came out of the, the brothel, brothels, mm -hmm. uh, the, the house of ill repute. But those are the only people who was hiring musicians. Yeah. If you want to make a living, that's where you had to work. Wow. That didn't mean you, you did exactly what they did. They did. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I play in all the clubs, mm -hmm. but I be witness while I'm in the club. I tell mm -hmm. folks right or no, they're dealing with a Christian when they see me. Yeah. And, they, and they, I get the respect. A lot of guys see, oh, here we go. We're going to, we're going to learn about the Bible. Going to preach to us. Yeah, going to preach to us. Yeah, I go over to uh, over Shulman and play. Here come Deacon Grice. He's going to preach. Like, yeah, I'm a preach to it. I'm always with him. God, God gave me this. That's right. That's and right. I have to uh, have knowledge this. I'm not, in, I'm not ashamed of it. All right. Amen. All and right. them guys like Bird and all that, they, 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 they didn't make themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. That was just, it's, 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 I don't think jazz could be explained. Yeah. Because at first, you, you don't know what you're going to do when you're going to start improvising. That's true. And you don't know what directions. Now, now uh, that's why I always say when, when guys say, I'm going to college to learn how to play jazz. Mm -hmm. I just laugh. <laughs> I just laugh. I, you're going to college to learn jazz theory. Yeah, yeah. And theory is what it is. Theory. Yeah. Not factual. Uh, it's not factual. Anything theory is is non factual. Right. So how are you gonna learn when you gonna learn jazz? You gotta play. Right. right. You gotta be out here where it is played. Yeah. And most of the guys that playing it good are not college material. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> well, you know, you told me a, a, a long time ago um, uh, about uh, jazz music, and and you said uh, it was it was like having a conversation. It is a conversation mm -hmm. because it's uh, I have to be in tune to you, the piano player, the drum, the law, anybody on that stage. Mm -hmm. I have to be aware of each input. What is what is your uh, role mm -hmm. and your role? Mm -hmm. it, it's, I would equate that to a train. I would equate, uh, equate that to the train. Uh, the, you're laying down, you're like the engine. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 you're laying down the harmonic structure and the melodic structure that, in, that I'm listening to mm -hmm. to follow you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, 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 the, I would say the, uh, the band is the train, but the caboose is mm -hmm. bringing up the rear. Right. Uh, 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 that's pushing you, mm -hmm. the whole train. That's the drummer. Because the drummer, I listen to the drummer more than I listen to anybody. Right. Anybody. Mike, you glad to hear that. Right? That's right. Have to listen, they, they, if the drama miss a beat, the whole thing is destroyed. Yeah. And I think of Mike always. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you got to listen to the drama. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in fact, I used to, when I was in the service, uh -huh. uh, I always practiced with, without piano player. Mm -hmm. I practiced just with the drummer so I can hear the chords in my head. Mm -hmm. And that's how I practice. Mm -hmm. But I, don't, I can just play uh, with me and the drummer play. I can hear the whole music, and I, I, the, the, the rhythm section is in my head. Mm -hmm. Or either the bass player. I used to do a lot of things with the bass player. Right, right. But everybody is important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody is important. Yeah. And they listen. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what makes, uh, like I tell people, everyone <laughs> make mistakes. Professionals make mistakes just like beginners. Yeah. What is the difference in a beginner in jazz? or any music, mm -hmm. is you minimizing your mistakes. Mm -hmm. You're drilling over and over and over. Bring yourself on a level of execution mm -hmm. where you can won't make as many mistakes. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. you're playing on a, 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 that level. And I call, I, sometimes I, I think of that level as a curse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because once you do the level, your name spread. Mm -hmm. And they expect an, just that level. Wow. You can't let it down. Yeah. I thought that guy could really play. Did you yeah. hear him tonight? He wasn't playing nothing. 
uh, or he, or this Tommy Gray is coming in. Yeah. They expecting from the you know me to play it on the highest level I can, yeah, and I try, <laughs> but you can't do it all the time. Yeah. Right. You set the bar too high. Uh -huh. Yeah, they set the bar too high, and then it, it depends on the condition. Everybody don't wake up the same. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, physically, you know, aches and pains uh, exist. Sure. I try, you have a choice mm -hmm. of how you're going to wake up the, your disposition. Right. Every day you get up, you wake up smiling or crying. <laughs> or evil or, or, mm -hmm. or, 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 or holy. Mm -hmm. I chose to be smiling and holy. Cool. All right. All at right. all times. And I don't care how I wake up, I get all kinds of pain. Yeah. But I don't want to be down. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to be that man. That's good. Because yeah. yeah. your music will go down. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Every time. Absolutely. You told me another thing, um, and, and it stuck with me. I think when we first started playing together, for those of you who don't know, uh, um, Tommy and I really were the original members of Jasper. Mm -hmm. uh, we started playing together, uh, I think it was Reba Thomas had us to play for it. In the that's band. right, that's right. Yeah, and then we added um, Joel, the bass player, mm -hmm. and we added Mike, the drummer. Where's the, he, where's the bass player now? Um, Joel's playing with another group. Oh, uh, playing with yeah, another group. Yeah, uh -huh. well, I still keep in touch with him. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. But you, you told me something that, I, that that always stuck with me because we were struggling with a, well, I was struggling with a tune that we were trying to get and I just couldn't get it like I wanted it. Mm -hmm. And you said, stop, stop, stop. You said, look, just, just be you. That's just right. be you. Don't don't try to be anybody else. Mm -hmm. You know, Just mm -hmm. be you because you're the only one that can be you. That's right. That's right. That's why I, I, I have to laugh with uh, musicians <laughs> who compare themselves to other musicians. Mm. And uh, 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 I can never be Coltrane. Right. I can never be uh, Dizzy Gillespie. My name is not that. Mm -hmm. I wasn't born that. Uh, they feel different. You know, I can only do what's in me. Right. That's right. And uh, so I don't, I don't, you know, I do the best I can. Mm -hmm. And I have, and and I accept other musicians on it. I never, oh man, you don't sound up like. In fact, I'm not a Coltrane lover. Mm. I love Coltrane, but not a lover of Coltrane, mm. because Coltrane, uh, 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 sometimes he plays like a lawnmower, Brrr, all of his horn. <laughs> well, I'm a very melodic type person. I like, uh, I I would I would say. One of my favorite uh, uh, tenor players, and I love Coltrane, don't put me down. Yeah, I, was I, I love, was but I'm not a Coltrane lover. Mm -hmm. Dexter Gordon is a, uh, Dexter, Sonny Stitz, those guys play lines like you speak. Mm -hmm. If you spoke to a person that said, go downtown and buy me a suit, and then you, I understand that. You say, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. what in the world did this guy say? <laughs> So sometimes those guys be playing a thousand notes, and I wonder what are they saying. Yeah. So every time I play, I try to think I'm speaking a sentence. Or mm -hmm. actually, I equate improvisation with an instrument as singing. Mm -hmm. If you can sing, I never forget uh, 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 Benny Golson. I was asking Benny about uh, a tune. He, him, and my brother was very close. He's come up to the. Gigi's apartment, and uh, 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 Billy said, do you know the words of that, that song you playing? I said, words? Man, I'm no vocalist. <laughs> you know, he said, I wish you would come a vocalist. You could play it better. Mm. And I thought about it. I didn't know the words. If I played the words, I would play the song right. Mm. Yeah. Now, you speak, uh, I would, even, even when I call a tune, a uh, guy said, let's, let's speed it up. I said, this is a love song. Mm -hmm. You don't speed up love. <laughs> you want, want it to be, you know, linger as long as you can. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you want to play, if it's a ballad, play a ballad. Mm -hmm. Now you can put a little bump to it. One, right. But don't play it where you don't recognize the melody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. And that, that's, that's why they write melodies. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the guy say, play it. Yeah. And you Whatever. play anything you want. <laughs> now, how does that sound? There's no structure. The, the bass player don't know what you're going to do. The piano yeah. player don't know what you're going to do. That's mm -hmm. true. The drummer don't know what you're going to do. So there has to be some kind of structure. Yeah. yeah. A format. That makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to ask you one last question. And um, and that, that would be... Uh, we all have our time here on, on, on this earth. God gives us a certain mm -hmm. amount of time that, that we're here. But 
if, when we when when our time comes, and I thought about this several times myself, but I'm going to ask you the question: How would you like to be remembered musically? Uh, if you had to leave any kind of a legacy, what would you want folks to say about you musically? <laughs> when I leave from here, uh, I don't think of death as final. Right. Uh, I'm asleep. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm dead. I, I think of death when I leave this, this earthly thing. Mm -hmm. And I could care less what I leave behind <laughs> if I'm promised a better place. Yeah. I leave it like that. Okay. Uh, 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 I don't, what, what good is a leg legacy? Uh, what, what does that mean? I was telling somebody, I said, man, get all that air and ego out of your head because they got angels. Michael, you can't outblow Michael. <laughs> Them angels, uh, they was making music before you was. I would say Charlie Parker probably is a grip man up there. <laughs> up in the heavens. So what I'm going to leave down here? I'm going to leave this caucus what I got. Yeah. And yeah. that soon will perish. Yeah. But my soul, that's what I, I'm trying to save my soul. Yeah. So that's, that's going with me. That, that's right. That's right. That's going to the other Now, if I could take my horn, but I know it can't go with it. But, but we, we came here naked, we go out here naked. That's right. That's what the words say. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I just, whatever I leave here, mm -hmm. if, if, if it's a, uh, somebody to remember on earth, say, uh, he treated me like he treated himself. Mm. I do unto others as I would do unto others. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I don't want to leave any kind of yardstick where, who am I? Mm. Because uh, we're all sinners mm -hmm. by DNA. Yeah. All snakes. Yeah. We're biting. Yeah. yeah we're biting. <laughs> so some of us never bit before, but we're capable of biting. Yeah. So I don't think, uh, I can't put a, I, I don't consider myself godly. Mm -hmm. A god. Mm -hmm. God is in control mm -hmm. all the time. So when I leave from here, uh, uh, really, I never thought about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, I just I would would be impressed that I leave here where somebody I hated. Mm -hmm. I would want I would want that. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Then that wouldn't make no difference because I'm gonna be judged by not by man. Yeah, that's true. That's true, but by God. Uh, by God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Tommy, thank you for the interview, man. Well, I'm it, glad I, you know, your room, your I enjoy room. talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, getting back to uh, Betty Carter, this is the album that, that you were on with Betty Carter. Yeah, yeah, I wrote okay. the tunes, yeah, the tunes and I play, also played on it. Okay, now when was this? Uh, that was in the uh, that was in the 70s. In the 70s? Was, yeah, okay. the 70s. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right, Mr. Tommy That was Bryce. the first and last time I saw Betty. Really? Uh -huh. wow. She was a... Uh, she had a filthy mouth. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and she can sing, though. Well, she, she can, can sing. sing. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, one of my favorite uh, songs by her was Spring Can Really Hang You Up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah I think the original idea was uh, Bluebird of Happiness. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Bluebird of Happiness. And uh, uh, You Driving Me Crazy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pop. Dee 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 da. Dee 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 da. That sounds, they, like uh, that sounds like her style. The only thing I had to do is, because uh, Gigi said, why don't you do it as well? I just put the harmony to it and some mm -hmm. licks. Okay. Well, we've come to the end of our interview with Mr. Tommy Grice. And uh, once again, I want to thank Tommy for inviting us in. Well, uh, thank you. And uh, please tune in again and uh, see who we're going to have. Go to www.jasper.com, look up for the interview room, and come back and see us again.